Hugsy and I here at Mark of Horror, and today I just wanted to mention that we mourn the passing of John Carl Beekler, who was instrumental in so many horror films in the 80s and 90s, um, passed away in his 60s uh, just a few days ago. He was the director of Friday the 13th Part 7, the one that was basically Carrie versus Jason. Uh, and while it was not the best best Friday the 13th movie, it was also far from the worst Friday the 13th movie. Um, he directed many films. I just recently got um, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, which is, which is one of the ones that he directed. He also directed Dungeon Master and Cellar Dweller and Troll. Um, he also acted in... in Many of horror, many horror films, um, including Hatchet One and Hatchet Two, and he was probably best known for, besides directing Friday the Thirteenth Part Seven, he was probably best known for all of the special effects work that he did on so many horror movies. Um, the one that springs to mind instantly is the Soul Pizza from Friday from uh, from Nightmare on Elm Street Four. Um, that had all, all the souls as pepperonis in the pizza, and uh, and that was uh, that was John Carl Beekler's contribution. Um, I'm going to show you some some trailers of his. The first three are films that he directed, and the rest are films that he did the special effects on. Um, uh, John Carl Beekler made a great contribution to horror. Um, and we will miss him. He is a warrior in a wasteland without mercy. It's a little guy. He has survived where countless others have died. Good shot, huh? He has destroyed all that would kill him. Out of control. He is the only one who can face the challenges of... Discover the secret of the Statue of Stone. The ungodly demons of the dead. The trap of rat spit, the slime boy. The rat spit. The ordeal of the ice monsters of doom. My legs are frozen! I can't move my feet! The attack of the samurai sentinel. <laughs> the treachery of the monster of good and evil. A warrior trapped in a timeless void. Locked in mortal combat against the overlord to the agonies of strange beasts and lost souls. Prepare for the end! The Dungeon Master. Rated PG-13. Once upon a time when the world was filled with wonder, little creatures shared the earth with humans, and magic was a way of life. Once upon a time is now. Empire Pictures presents Troll. The weirdest, the rowdiest, the most mischievous, and the scariest little creature of them all. What he's doing is going from apartment to apartment and transforming sections of this building into different fairy worlds. What the hell are you? The transformation is going to begin on the Witch's Sabbath.
the very same day that the Potters move into their new apartment. I've never seen so many guys take so long to move so little furniture. It's all your records, honey. You gotta get rid of some of these records. Sometimes I wonder what I'm gonna do. No, there ain't no kill for the summertime blues. What the Potters don't know is that they've just moved into the building that is the enchanted gateway to the ancient world of Troll. Shut that damn door! Oh. Wendy! Didn't you hear Mommy calling you, honey? No, Mommy. It's dead. Harry Jr. is about to be drawn into a world beyond his wildest fantasy, and he'll need a little magic of his own to get out of it alive. Jr. expected to have a little trouble getting adjusted in his new neighborhood. But he never expected anything like this. Troll, where myths and legends come to life. This is the one you've been waiting for. What's happening to me? Your psychokinesis and these delusions. No, I you're not listening to me! The one you've been asking for. Hey, <laughs> Tina, isn't this the way they wear their jackets back in the mental hospital? <laughs> Concentrate. Concentrate, Tina! The one you've been dying for. You people give me the creeps. Okay, you big hunk of a man, come and get me. Jason is back. But this time, someone is waiting. Ten years ago, on the night of October 31st, a small Midwestern town fell victim to an escaped killer. Under the cover of darkness, he carried out the most horrifying mass murder on record. Sixteen people in cold blood. Ever since that night, no one has forgotten his name. And Halloween has never been the same. Now, Michael Myers has come home. He has returned for one more night of unholy terror. here to kill that little girl and anybody who gets in his way. Oh, God! Who's gonna be next? Ah! <laughs> Halloween 4, the return of Michael Myers. Maybe nobody knows how to stop him. Terror 
is. Hello. Do you live here? Nobody lives here. of the subconscious. Dr. Edward Pretorius is about to embark on such a journey. It's out of control. You've got to turn it off. Something's coming. <laughs> Humans are such easy prey. From the makers of Reanimator, from beyond. Enter another world. We just hanging around this slaughterhouse house waiting for our turn. Sir, the power's down all over the prison. Where something is trapped in the dark. Something grab hold of me. Some things just won't stay buried. It's something evil. I summon the creature of darkness. It's something inhuman. What's happening in there? And it's waiting for someone. Come forth and show yourself. To open the door. Now the evil is loose and there is no escape. Pleasant place to spend one's life is Miss Walker. Prison. Herbert West is not just your ordinary doctor. Others dare not dream what we are about to do. He intends to make medical history. This is no longer about just reanimating the dead. With the help of Daniel Kane. It's never gonna work. It's gonna be uncontrollably spastic. And a few select friends. West took my body, but he cannot take my mind. He's about to bring his dream to life. And God created woman. Someone old. What's dead is dead. Someone new. It is some kind of joke, right, man? How dare you judge my work? Someone borrowed. Who is she? Someone blue. This morbid doodling with human body parts. Is this what it's all about? Something so shocking. It must be true. There is my creation. <laughs> Make a note of it, Dan. Oh. Rejects. Daniel! You're coming! You made me! 
I made you. <laughs> Forget it, Dan. She's just an assembly of dead tissue. H.P. Lovecraft's Bride of Reanimator. <laughs> Are we having fun yet? Ha, 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 ha.